Hello, SBG of the band family. It's your favorite cousin, Sharika, coming to you for a quick tutorial to go over your trace feature in your Silhouette Cameo software and why our trace feature is so important. Okay, family? And how we're going to trace text and things like that by using Google Images. So let's get started. We're gonna go over here to Google. And as you can see, I already typed in Valentine's Day quotes and see different things that pop up. When we find simple little text like this or the heart, um, these things are very simple for us to be able to trace. Depending if this is a JPEG or a pink image, depends on how we can bring it in. If it's only a JPEG, we should be able to copy it and paste it into our software. And when we paste it, if it's a real pink image, it turns black like we see here. So if we wanted it to have the no background where it wouldn't be black like this, we would need to save it to our computer. But if we're working with designer edition of better, we can use our trace feature. And instead of using select area to trace, we can use trace by color, which is here. And we can trace by color. And we can select the red, put the dropper on the red. And here we can go all areas instead of just single area. And we can hit trace. Okay. We're going to move this out the way. We can double tap on the lines, select this outline, and just hit backspace to delete it. And now we have the exact image here, and now it is ready to cut. We can cut this, okay? So we look at the difference and we paste the other one back in again. We have this here is what we started with, and this. We cannot bring this in and it think that it's ready to cut. If we go over to our send option to see, can you see what we have here? We have this piece here that we traced and is ready to cut versus this piece here that's only grabbing the square of the outline, okay? So we wouldn't be able to use that one, but we could use this. We go back over to Google and see what else we see. This simple heart here will be easy to trace. Right click, copy image, go back over to our silhouette software, paste it in front, and have, now we have this image. See, when we paste this one in front, it came in with the white background, but that's because it's a JPEG. When we have brought the first image in and it came in black, it's because it was a pink image. But we, same thing, we can take this piece, select trace, and now because it's simple and red here, we can just hit select area to trace, draw a rectangle around it. We want this yellow line to be nice and clear. So we can bring our threshold up. And hit trace. And now we have our heart that is ready to trace. For me, I would double tap this and hit simplify to make the lines a lot smoother and easier for the machine to be able to recognize, but now it's ready to cut. If I go over to send again, I see my cut lines. Okay, versus same thing. If I paste that one more time and we go over to the send option and look at it, see, we want this instead of this. This is what we want. Does this look here? Not this. All right. Say if we wanted to trace this text, we can right click, copy, bring it back over to our silhouette software, paste it, go back over to our trace key, Select the area to trace, draw your rectangle around it, bring your threshold a little bit, and we're gonna hit trace. There we go. 
Let's look at this again. If we hit select area to trace, and we bring the threshold down, and it looks like this, that's gonna give us rough lines, half a line, not all the lines that we need. So we need to make sure that we bring in that threshold up so it's nice and clear. Okay. I'm gonna take all these pieces and just grab them and change the color so you can see a little bit better. Okay, and that's how simple Trace is for Silhouette Cameo software. You bring it in Google Images and pings and things like that, and JPEGs, you will have to make sure you trace them to be able to cut them. If you're using them for sublimation or something different, then that's different. If you're using it for sublimation, then you might not need to trace it. All right, and we're going to do this last one. We're going to go over to our trace fixture, select the area to trace, draw a square around it. Let's pick it up. We're going to hit trace. Okay. Once again, we can double tap on our lines to get our edit points. We can select the square on the outside, be able to delete those points out. We don't want this trash that's here. We can go in and delete that also just by selecting the points and hitting the backspace key. And there we go. I hope this helped you. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up if it helped out. Make sure to subscribe. Feel free to share the video with some of your crafting friends. And if you would like to come learn with us on a weekly basis, please check out our SVGU Masterclass subscription group where we do weekly tutorials. You get exclusive content and be able to have access to SV and Sharika at all the time for only $25 a month. So check out our Masterclass and I hope you enjoy.